Hi guys, today I'm here to do my July movie wrap up. These are all of the movies that I watched in July. June was a horrible watching month. I didn't like any of the movies I watched. And finally in July, I found some pretty good movies. The first movie I watched in July was Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. This is kind of a sequel to the first one. I really wasn't gonna watch this movie because I loved the first one so much and it looked like they kind of totally screwed this one up. But some of my family brought it over and we watched it. I had heard how great this movie was but I was going into it thinking I would hate it. This is really nothing like the original, but it was still a really good movie. There were so many funny parts in it. I love Kevin Hart and he was hysterical in this. I did miss a little bit of it because I was up making popcorn for everyone, but I caught the gist of it and I gave this three and a half stars. Next, I watched Paddington 2. I had seen the first one when it came out and I didn't think it was anything special, but I thought it was cute. But I decided to pick up the second one anyway and I really loved this movie. I loved loved this more than the first one. There were so many celebrities in this that I didn't realize were in it and I really loved seeing all of them. This was a really funny movie as well. I just really loved this movie and I gave it four stars. Next I watched Bringing Up Baby. A friend of mine here on YouTube said it was one of his favorite movies so I decided to watch it. This came out in 1938 and has Cary Grant and Katherine Hepburn. This is about a man who works in the museum and he's building a dinosaur but he ends up running into this woman who just kind of throws his life upside down. I really didn't like Katherine Hepburn's character. She made me nervous all the time and I ended up hating her through it. She's one of those that just kind of controls everything around her and nothing makes sense. I'm glad I watched this because it is a classic and I gave this three stars. Next I watched Intermission. This came out in 2003. I had never heard of this but it has a lot of people that I really love in it. It has Colin Farrell and Killian Murphy in it and I absolutely love them. It also has Kelly McDonald in it. She was really young in this. This was a really interesting movie. It kind of reminded me of a Guy Ritchie movie. There were kind of a lot of storylines going on at the same time, so it's kind of hard to explain what this movie is about. Unfortunately, there were so many curse words in this movie, which I don't really like. I thought it was funny and action-packed. If you guys have seen this movie, I'm really interested to see if you guys have tried brown sauce in tea. I am dying to know what that tastes like. It sounds like it would be absolutely horrendous. But anyway, I gave this movie three and a half stars. Next, I watched The Englishman Who Went Up a Hill and Came Down a Mountain. This came out in 1995. It has Hugh Grant in it. And it's about this Englishman who goes to this town. He is measuring hills to see if they are going to be mountains on maps. But once he goes and measures it, it turns out that it's actually a hill. So before he leaves town, the entire town decides to try and make that hill a mountain. This was really cute and I loved all of the characters in it. It was just an absolute comfort watch for me. And I gave this four stars. Next, I watched Sweet Revenge. This was on the same disc as the other movie. It was one of those box sets of romantic comedies. This one has Sam Neill and Helena Bonham Carter in it. And it's these two people who are committing suicide on a bridge one night and they end up running into each other. And she comes up with the idea to get revenge on the two people that put them in that position. The entire time I watched this movie, I was thinking that I had already seen it. So I think I must have seen it when I was a lot younger. It was a really fun watch and it has Rupert Graves in it and he was absolutely adorable in the 90s. Apparently this movie is forgettable though because I do think I watched it years ago, but I gave this three stars. Next I watched 47 meters down. It was Shark Week and I wanted to watch something kind of sharky. I absolutely love Shark Week and sharks are my biggest fear, so I really love watching shark movies. This is two women, Claire Holt and Mandy Moore, who decide to go scuba diving with sharks and when they get in the cage, the cage actually breaks and drops them 47 meters down and they have to try and survive down there until someone comes to rescue them. I was on the edge of my seat the entire time. I really loved this movie. I know a lot of people's problem was the end of this movie, but I absolutely loved how they decided to end this. I actually saw it coming from about halfway through the film, but I still really enjoyed this movie and I gave this three and a half stars. And the last movie that I watched in July was Humor Me. This is Jemaine Clement and Elliot Gould. I really love Jemaine Clement so I was excited to give this movie a shot. This is about a man whose wife leaves him and he has to move back in with his father but his father is actually staying in kind of like a retirement home. I thought it'd be more about the storyline of him and his father but I really don't feel like we got a lot of his father in this. Also Jemaine Clement is from New Zealand and his American accent wasn't very good but this is still kind of a funny movie and I gave this three stars. Okay so those are all the movies I watched in July. Finally some good movies in there. Let me know if you guys have seen any of these movies and if you liked any of them and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.